Hello and welcome to Maths by SARS. This is my second basic and introductory lesson about the graphs of different types of functions. In this lesson, I will be telling you students that what is reciprocal function and uh, how to draw the graph of reciprocal function and what are the features of the reciprocal function. You have to keep these all points in your mind while drawing the graph of the reciprocal function because the graphs and drawing of graph is one of the most important parts of your O-level examination. So let's um, move to the discussion of the lesson and let's see what is reciprocal function. The general form of the reciprocal function function is y equals to a over x where a uh, which is the numerator belongs to the real number and it should not be equal to 0. The function is defined for all real values of x except for x equals to 0. Here it's important to understand that y x uh, should not be equal to 0. Okay children look and see this carefully that x is the denominator and we have discussed this point many times that in case of fraction we are not going to give those values to the denominator which will make the whole fraction uh, undefined because in this way when the denominator is zero your fraction will become undefined so in case of reciprocal function we are not going to give those values to the denominator which makes the denominator zero because in that case when the denominator is zero function will become undefined and when you will be making the table for the reciprocal functions you are not going to take those values of x in the table which will make your function undefined such values of x for which the function becomes undefined they are called the point of discontinuity i hope you are clear that what is the reciprocal function and uh, which values of the denominator we have to avoid let's discuss some important observations and uh, some key points that we have to uh, keep in our mind uh, if we look at the graph uh, we can see that although the graph occurs in two separate parts you can see the graph is coming in uh, two uh, separate parts in first quadrant and in the third quadrant but it must be regarded as a single graph and not as a two separate graphs okay then um, if this when this positive values of x increase the values of y decrease positive values of x increase the values of y decrease what is the reason you can see uh, you can take the idea from two fractions like one is one by two and one is one by three one by two will give me 0 0.5 and one by three will give me 0 0.33 so as the values of x are increasing values of y are decreasing as the positive values of x decreases the values of y increases rapidly and it becomes closer to y axis when x is negative y becomes large as x becomes small and when x gets closer to zero y decreases ra rapidly in other words x approaches to zero and y approaches to infinity okay and then when x equals to 0, the function y equals to 1 over x is not defined. This is the point that I was discussing with you in the beginning that we are not going to take value of x 0 or that value of the denominator which makes it 0. That means that there is a break at x equals to 0 or point of discontinuity. The two parts of graph are the mirror image of each other. The equation of two lines of the symmetry are y equals to x or y equals to minus x. Uh, how to understand this part? That if I'm keeping uh, the ruler as a mirror at this place, uh, you can see that I can find the reflection of this part of the graph over here. So in this way, we can see that y equals to minus x is the line of symmetry y equals to minus x let me draw it nicely because it's a line of symmetry it has to pass through the midpoints of the corners of uh, the blocks okay this is my y equals to minus x situation y equals to minus x so one of the line of symmetry is y equals to minus x this is the line of symmetry and then if I'm keeping the ruler in this way 
uh, I can see uh, that half part of the graph will be reflected. Uh, let me keep the ruler and uh, we have to imagine that this is the mirror. So through this mirror, I can see the reflection of the other part over here. So the other line of symmetry for this curve is y equals to x. So this graph will have two lines of symmetry. One is y equals to x and the other one is y equals to minus x. These are the points that you have to keep in your mind. Uh, let me draw the line nicely uh, because my hand is shaking and I'm not able to uh, get a good straight line. Okay, this one, y equals to x. So the line of symmetry for this situation uh, are y equals to plus x and minus x. And Okay, in these last two diagrams, I'm telling you two situations like when A is positive, your graph will be in the first and third quadrant. And if A is negative, your graph will be in the second and fourth quadrant. I hope you are clear about the graph and the important points about the reciprocal function. Uh, please watch my lessons, like, share and subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get the notification of every lesson in time. Thank you very much.